Happy Wednesday, everyone. Today is October 21st. If you are watching this video in the future, we are driving down to Texas to see my family. I grew up in Texas. I lived there all my life until I moved up here to Ohio when I was 18. We are gonna hit up some tourist attractions because my sister-in-law has never been there and I haven't seen the tourist attractions since I've been an adult. So I think that I can appreciate it a little bit more. And I think that it would be cool to take the kids to see um, stuff like the Riverwalk and the Alamo as well. I wanted to share with you how we pack the car, the seating arrangements, any other little bits of information I think that you could use in the future should you have to take a road trip with kids. No, any of that good stuff. Um, I know that plane tickets are really inexpensive right now. However, after my husband and I went over all the different ways that we could get down to Texas, driving just seemed to be the best option. It'll be fun because we aren't just, you know, we're not just trying to get from point A to point B. We are trying to enjoy the journey. So we do have a couple fun stops on the way. I will go ahead and tell you those fun stops. So we will be driving from Ohio down to Texas. Uh, the scenic stops that I'll be stopping at are the Mammoth Caves in Kentucky. It's a national park. It's beautiful. It's got the biggest cave system, I'm pretty sure, in America. It's amazing. I've been there once before growing up, and I'm really excited to go again as an adult with my own children. Also, we will be going through Memphis, Tennessee. We will be exploring Mud Island. We see something that looks really interesting and looks like fun we're going to probably stop and explore that as long as it doesn't cost a ton of money. It's going to be a learning experience for everyone and Miles will still be in school in the car. I think it'll be a pretty good way to mix things up. Another thing before I let y'all go, I want to let you know that this road trip series is going to be breaking down into parts. I'm going to go ahead and release part one pretty soon after this video is posted. First part is going to contain the visual aid that I made for the kids to keep their behavior in check. I found something pretty cool on Pinterest that I'm gonna share with you. I'm also gonna tell you what books we're packing. They need to stay entertained and I'm trying my hardest not to throw in a bunch of technology right at the get-go. Even though Eric will be home and won't be coming with us unfortunately, I don't wanna leave the house a complete disaster for him. Cleaning is also a part of our to-do list before we leave. So that will also be in part one that I hope you check out. I want to take this time right now to go ahead and say thank you to the 15 subscribers that I have. 15 I know is not a ton, but I'm thankful for what I do have and I'm thankful for y'all coming and checking me out. So I'm really thankful for you. For those of you who view my content but haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Also click the bell so that way you are notified whenever I upload any new posts, any new videos. I'd like to think that we're kind of creating a nice little tribe here of friends and family. You are always more than welcome to share our videos. Also, if you have not checked me out on Instagram, my personal Instagram page is Nicole Amberlynn. It's N-I-C-O-A-L-E-A-M-B-E-R-L-Y-N-N. -E I'll also put it down here. Also, the Custer Cluster has its own Instagram page as well. So go ahead and uh, check us out over there for updates on videos and behind the scenes stuff and my personal page. I might post some things that you don't like, but it's always nice to get to know the people behind the camera. I love you and I will see you shortly.